The other day, a friend approached me. He was really excited. He looked me in the eyes and said, can, can I ask you a question? I've been working on this new product idea and, and I want to show it to you. Do you think this is a great idea? I hesitated and then I said, dude, that is an awful question. I have no idea whether this is a good idea. Only the market can tell if this is a good idea. Everything else is an opinion and opinions are worthless. My friend looked at me and said, seriously? But that was a bit brutal, you know, just, just yesterday I posted the idea on Facebook and it, the post got more than 200 likes and so many encouraging comments from my friends. They love the idea. Okay, let me explain. Opinions and compliments are worthless when it comes to measuring the quality of your product idea. A like or a high five usually comes from a person who's overly optimistic and just want the best for you. Instead, you want to get facts and commitments. Today, I will show you how to get facts. A while ago, I read a phenomenal little book called The Mom Test. How to talk to customers and learn if your business is a good idea when everyone is lying. The book gives you specific advice on how to talk to your customers to get useful facts. So you might be wondering, what is the mom test? Let me explain. The mom test has three simple rules. Number one, talk about the customer's life instead of your own idea. Number two, Ask about specifics in the past instead of opinions about the future. And number three, talk less and listen more. Okay, let's talk about questions. When you ask people about the future, they tend to describe themselves as who they want to be instead of who they actually are. Remember, you want to collect facts that can help you build a better product. So keep the conversation focused on the other person and ask about specific concrete cases and examples. Here are some examples of good questions. What are you trying to do? How are you doing it today? Can you talk me through your process? What do you love about it? What do you hate about it? What makes it so bad? Can you talk me through an example? How often does it happen? What does it cost you? How are you dealing with it now? What else have you tried? And who else should I talk to? It's a simple formula. When you ask better questions, you will get better answers. So ask questions about your customers' lives, their problems, constraints, their goals. And when you do, you will get more facts. Then listen carefully and take plenty of notes your insights would help you design a better solution. It comes down to this. You are not allowed to tell the customer what their problem is. In return, they are not allowed to tell you what to build. The customer owns the problem, you own the solution. Let me repeat, opinions and compliments are worthless. You want facts and commitments. In the next video, I will talk you through the different types of commitments. One more thing, please do continue to enjoy the compliments, the likes, the high fives, as long as you don't take them as a validation of your product idea. Back to you, it's time to ask better questions. If you want facts, ask about the past, ask about specifics. My name is Thomas Bay, I will be back, and in the next video, I will talk about the different types of commitments. Until then, make things better and make better things. Boom! <laughs>